All right, we're back. Um, so we're gonna open the back. And then as you see, this is a plastic. We gotta be careful opening the, taking the uh, front out. Then we gotta take the CD-ROM out, unplug it, the wires, and there's a hook, you gotta raise it up, take that out, put that on the side, and there is a button or clicker here, you press to the left, and take that up. And then, you gotta take the you gotta take the caddy out for the hard drive. You gotta press it both inside. All right, there's caddy out. Then we gotta get the hard drive, CD, SSD. It's a 512 SSD. You simply put that on it right here and on the bottom. You need to put a couple of screws down. Yeah. It's a small screws, so. Put a couple of screws will be fine. It's not a big deal. And there you go. Put the screws are down. Put the caddy back in. And plug in the power and the SSD. Um, the SATA on it and then put this down there's a on the right um, on my right there is a little clicker you press that in and you you shut that like this all right and then you got put CD on back in and then you gotta make sure it's plugged in right. Power and the SATA cord to the CD-ROM. And then put the front on the top like this. All right, that's done. Now, you gotta put the top back on. in the back Screw it on. Put that in. that's not a big deal all right now let's turn this on turn this on and See what's the what this bio says. Press enter. So we gonna get the bios. What's the bios? Um, to see what's uh, what it got.
we're going to the BIOS to see what's the what is this computer to going to the BIOS and the Lenovo I think we have to press enter all right press F1 to the BIOS so this computer is um, to get the this computer is think center m900 and then system um, gotta find out what's the system so it's i5 6500 uh, core 4 core 16 GB uh, RAM and uh, you got uh, SSD 2.5 SSD 512 so we we're done there. Now we gonna put USB in the front. I have a window 10 USB already uh, made on here. So let's turn on. And now we gotta go to back out, press F10, press yes. Then you gotta press F12. All right, it gives us the option of uh, where you want to boot it from. So this first option comes to legacy USB. That's where we're going to click on. Takes a little minute. It's going to go show up the screen of uh, window 10 first. And we're gonna click few. We're gonna go through a few steps, and then it will start installing. All right. All right. Here it is. It's a few language you want, English, time and English, and keyboard is US. If you're in some other country, you can pick whatever country you want. Go next, install now. So, installing. Uh, we got two options. Uh, we click on DLA 64, press next. You're using the software to determine condition and license. Yes, yes, yes. You accept. I accept the license. Press next. And then your custom install window only. That's what you need to click on. And this is if you have something on the uh, hard drive before. So you go click on it and then delete whatever you got because it's a fresh, a fresh install. So you click all that, so it's gonna get to 462 GB. So you press next, and then it's gonna start installing. It's gonna take uh, because this is SSD. It's gonna take uh, it's gonna be quicker. So let me get back to you right after let's finish this, and then we'll go from there. Okay. We're back. So the computer is going to start, uh, restart a couple times. So it's going to get to the screen. It will give you um, what which region you're going to pick, what region you are in. So we're in the United States. So we click United States, go to the next, then click US uh, keyboard, whatever country you're from, you can pick that. The next is want to add a second keyboard is up to you you can put a layout but we usually skip that let me go to next uh, so what I do I plug in I have a USB um, 
uh, Wi-Fi. So what I do, I just uh, plug it into any of the USB to get uh, get going. So you do that, and if you pass that screen, you you will see you can plug it in, and then it will show up the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna pick United Network, connect, put in our password and press next. Do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other? You press no. We'll get connected and then you go next. It's going to ask a few more questions and then we will be right to the main screen. So, um, yeah, some some more clicks gonna come on, come in a minute. Um, almost there. All right. So, how would you like to set it up? So, this is personal or organization as you can pick. I'll pick personal. Press next. Um, you can put in uh, your email address, uh, Microsoft Hotmail, or or your phone number, whatever you want. We're gonna stay off offline account. You can do that. Go to the next. Sign in to enjoy the full range. Uh, what I'm gonna do is limited experience, and then I'm gonna show you what to do. So I'm gonna do limited, and then uh, you can pick whatever name you want. I'm gonna say X press next password whatever you would like and go press next uh, choose privacy so whatever you want to pick you can choose your location if you don't want people to see your data and all that so you got to read all that press accept and the last thing is let uh, Cortana help you get things done press accept and then it's gonna take a few more minutes uh, then I'll be right back and we'll go from there all right windows all installed um, you will see a few buttons so I'm gonna show you how to um, check what we install what what's in this computer so you click on uh, right click on the window sign go to system it will show you um, uh, Intel i5, 3.2 gigahertz, 16 GB RAM, Windows 10 Pro, um, installed it today, so it got all that information. Uh, so we need to make sure um, this window is all updated, so on the search column you type in update and it's gonna come up check for updates. So you click that and you click on check updates so it's going to search for updates and will let us know if this window needs to be updated so you'll see it has uh, quite a bit um, updates that needs to be done so it's going to take uh, some time and uh, uh, you can sh do your work or you want to do uh, leave it on and it will automatically get done and then it's gonna ask you to restart your computer so you do that and you'll be all set I hope uh, you enjoy this uh, uh, quick uh, window 10 installation on think center m900 if you have any question you can go below and uh, uh, send me a question I'm more than happy to answer that um, well this is my first video so if you like this video subs you know what to do subscribe and the like button to have uh, other people take advantage of this uh, installation of Windows 10 thank you